Imagine creating the basic shape of an object that you want and having Illustrator fill in all the details. Well, that's what Generative Shape Fill Beta is. It's amazing. Let's check it out right now. All you need to do is jump in, create what you want. These elements all happen to be grouped. And then from there, we can select Gen Shape Fill Beta. We could type something in here, but guess what? You could just hit Generate. And it's amazing that Illustrator figures it out. And there it is, check it out. We got one, two, three different birds. And yes, this is all vector, so you could edit it any way you want. And what's nice is your illustration remains untouched underneath it. But let's take this to another level because now I'm thinking, I would like for this to be a white bird with green large leaves. We'll click generate. And there we are. I love the hidden line here. Let's check out all three of these and they're looking pretty darn good. All right, let's do one more because I wanna point out what's happening here. Notice how this is kind of breaking the border. Well, we're gonna jump in here and this time the prompt's gonna be fill with spring flowers but we really want to control the shape strength. So how tight do you want it adhering to your shapes that you've drawn? Yeah, we want it to be super tight. And you could also adjust the detail from minimum to maximum. I'm going to keep that right in the middle. In fact, we can go beyond this and we can dive into effects and we can say, let's go with more of a geometric look since they are flowers. Anyways, we'll click generate, adhere to my illustration, give me medium detail and give me a geometric style. And there there it is. Let's check out all three. Oh yeah, love how geometric these are. Super nice. And keep in mind, this is my original. And look at these three fantastic versions that I've made with the power of Illustrator and Generative Shape Fill. So try it out for yourself and let me know what you think.